Hello, everyone, and welcome to Domain Forger here in Canada, in the French-speaking part of Canada, in Quebec. What makes a good musician, a great uh, artist, in your opinion, a great flute player? It's a great flute player. That's one thing. You, you, a great flute player is somebody who is where you don't feel the limitations from the nature of the instrument or from the technical uh, side either. So it's a combination of technical abilities and sound, uh, expressive uh, sound, flexible um, and, and unlimited possibilities, virtually unlimited possibilities. But what makes a good musician is somebody who tells the story. So if, if you just uh, like this uh, and have no, um, no shining sure. in a way, yeah. no glow. Yeah. You have to be burning for what you're doing and your body, your whole body has to be burning. At the same time you have to be very controlled and by a certain structured work you have to reach a point where it's just you're getting so close or into the truth that it's no it longer you playing, yeah, it's it just yourself. playing on you basically. Yeah. But this doesn't happen every time and uh, this is where it, there are some magical concerts and some other very good concerts or some other terrible concerts. Uh, the, whole, the, the range is, is very wide, but there, there's no little small concert. All concerts are important. There's always somebody out there for whom it's important. Sure. The French flute school are the fact that it was the first school where you had what you had for other instruments like violin and uh, piano. Mm -hmm. uh, you had scales, arpeggios, mm -hmm. exercises mm -hmm. uh, that were just a kind of torture but a very well disciplined training yeah. uh, that you need in order to achieve a certain level right. technical uh, technical level now the acting it's, the acting part of it actually it was my parents they thought okay if you if you're going on stage if you want to become a musician you have to know how to behave on stage sure. basically sure. and this is why i first got these kind of lessons and then when i went to the paris conservatoire they gave me a book uh, which is the Stanislavski uh, oh, yeah. school yeah. and is one of the basis of the actor studio methods oh. and you, he just asked some of his students I remember in one of the episodes he just said okay today we are stones and all of this in orchestra and chamber music and solo setups that's very enriching I mean that's about 30 setups which sure. I can quote instantly sure. uh, in which I can appear instantly today or tomorrow and it's my uh, my job mentally to be able to switch from sure. one or the other. Sure. That's more of the virtuosity that is required uh, for this uh, kind of uh, life. So I, I've never been uh, seeing it as, okay, the thing that Only I have to do yeah. and I don't see my role as a performing under the, uh, how do I say, under the instructions of the, the guy in the front. Of course, we all have to play together, sure. but um, it's up to me. Uh, also to, to play in the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. A conductor can yeah. conduct, but his, yeah. uh, we're, uh, we're actually playing. And sometimes you have to accept the fact that it's going in, in a direction that's not necessarily the one that you would go for, but still you have to stand up sure. for it and you have to make it sound the best yeah. and make it convincing. Absolutely. Um, and this is something that is phenomenal in the Berlin Philharmonic, is this just physical and uh, musical commitment of all the musicians in order to go in this direction and to serve the music at its best. Mm -hmm. 